Silence exists before sound and sound fades in silence. This process is perceived as music. The project we are doing is uh, an exciting recording of uh, some fabulous pieces of, from the 20th century with, uh, with Arata, our, uh, our pianist, who is uh, behind the whole project and who came up with it to begin with. And I think it suits us really well because ultimately the 20th century is probably the music we like playing the most. Cancelli and Schnitke is an interesting, contrasting combination, I would say. Um, maybe one could argue that uh, even though they use relatively simple tools, um, both of them for, for their compositions, uh, the outcome is very different. And, um, and the experience of either playing or, or hearing the piece could, couldn't be further away. I think like Snitka is sort of mother of 20th century. They had actually some similar points of life actually, of their personal life. Um, they both actually didn't know about uh, who are they and where they come from. You can hear it all, everything in music all these shocking contrasts and uh, very dramatic music. And it's why the piano quartet actually, it's, I, I really wanted to play the piece because it's a uh, sort of continuation and bridge between Mahler and Schnitke. For me, Schnitke expressed the silence in more inner way. So when you hear something that it's very quiet, for me in Schnitke, it's like an iceberg. There are so many things that you have to explore and actually there are so many feelings, uh, but you never know exactly what it is. I loved Cancelli, like I know this piece for, for a few years and I always wanted to, to play that and finally we, we are doing that and, and it's really beautiful, it has really different moods and different moments. Uh, Cancelli piece is like uh somehow it stops the time so it's like not a lot of thing is happening but still you can feel there is a lot of going on yeah at the same time but in the slow motion yeah? and uh, there are like a couple places when it really comes out as something you know, more explosive <laughs> Schnitke is ultimately utterly devastating um, and almost almost every piece of his is, 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 is sort of traumatic. Uh, Cancelli is in, in its own way um, uplifting, uh, still, still maybe philosophical and somewhat sad, but deep down somewhere there there is, there is, there is hope, which I don't think you can apply to Schnitke's work as much.
they have something in common that it's a key, a common key to their music and for me it's the silence.